We are now going to solve a quadratic equation that is in a little, uh, it's in a form that's a little unusual. But that's okay, we can do this. And we can do it without going to a whole lot of trouble. Notice that the t plus 5 in parentheses, that's being squared, is the same as the t plus 5 in parentheses that is not being squared. We can cut down on the time and energy it would take to solve this equation by using u substitution. If I let u equal t plus 5, then I'll, I can rewrite my quadratic equation as u squared minus 13u plus 42 equals 0. Then you can solve the equation using any method you like. I chose factoring because this quadratic equation is factorable. I set each factor equal to 0. And then I solved each resulting little equation. So that I got u equals 6 and u equals 7. Then I resubstituted t plus 5 for u, set that equal to the solutions. For instance, t plus 5 equals 6, so t equals 1. I subtracted 5 from both sides. t plus 5 equals 7, so t equals 2. Your solutions are t equals 1 and t equals 2.